Welcome back to Dream Drop Distance. If you thought the mind fuckery was over, well, my friends, you're in for a treat, because it's not yet even begun. It's never over, is it, Tom? The ride never ends, so to speak. Well, the first part was called Mr. Nabora's Wild Ride, so do the math. That's for sure. You were telling me how much you liked Sora's KH2 outfit. Yeah, I do. I mean, I really like it compared to the one he wears during the game. I mean, that one isn't bad, but this one I just prefer it. That's a bit more classic, if you will. Meanwhile, Namine wears precisely 50% less clothes than any of the other characters in the game. That gets all the fanboys into our series. I meant to tell you once this was all over. Days! <laughs> 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 Okay, fuck it, this is Shion. I was just kind of playing dumb at the start of the game. I don't like this character. But I can't wait to get more of her in Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD, soon or now available! All these characters, man, I can't keep track of it anymore. <laughs> Need a fucking Wikipedia just to be able to catch up on the game's story. Good thing we have a bunch of fans willing to set up a free one. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know why we're worried. We have a fucking T-Rex. I'm pretty sure we win the game. Well, gotta make sure we uh, use the thing we worked so hard to get. That's true. Well, you worked so hard to get. Me, I didn't fucking care. Yeah, you just show up, adjust your mic, and then boom, you're done. No, as for me, I have to spend hours redoing the same sections of gameplay <laughs> over and over until they're <laughs> fucking perfect. I was talking about the Keyblade, dude. <laughs> Calm down. Okay. Just so we're clear. Man, I fucking love that move. Just a big fuck you to everybody. Oh, Mega Flow. Yeah, you got that from Tyranto Rex, if I recall correctly. I believe so. You can also get it from Ryu Dragon, if you prefer. I got neither of them, so I wasn't allowed to have fun playing Dream Drop Distant, do you understand? Yeah, fun was like 5,000 ability points, just didn't have enough. You can get Mega Flare at the Flick Rush! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> No, you can't actually get it, Flick Rush, but they probably should have done that anyway just to piss me off. You can actually get Mega Flare in dives, but it's like a one-time only thing, specifically for the dives, so it's a bit of a cock tease, really. Yeah, I don't even know why that's there. Like, you know, you can get like one or two uh, hit everything magics, and it doesn't really do anything. Well, it's like for combos and bonuses and such, going for A ranks, etc. Now, even though I didn't get a uh, Mega Flare, I did get this command up here, which is Salvation, which is sort of like Faith, uh, that command that uh, Ventus had in Birth by Sleep. Ah, yeah, the um, healing move, I believe. I don't, I don't recall if uh, Salvation heals you as well, but it, when you get past the windup, it has a pretty good uh, attack radius, so I kept it on for a while. Sora's version of the reality shift is basically the same. It's still scrolling things that you have to destroy in three hits or less. But this time he is not a ghost and Riku is, which makes this a really weird Patrick Swayze movie. Now I really do like this area. Like, I like the combination of bouncing and jumping off the various skyscrapers along with the uh, ruins here. I really do like it. It's pretty good design, and it's kind of ironic that they changed the design of the world that never was, because a nobody is intrinsically static, you know, they're very permanent, they don't change, and I'm pretty sure they don't even age after they become nobodies, so to see their city looking differently to how it did a few years ago, kind of jarring. Well, we already know that Zenmus is a pretty poor room decorator, I'm pretty sure he'll take any chance to renovate. I'm Sora Man. Da -da -da -da. It just reminds me of Arkham City a little. <laughs> of course, uh, Batman wasn't jumping around fighting multicolored birds. <laughs> well, he was fighting birds, but they were more, you know, toned down, kind of like grim. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Penguin would be pretty happy to get his hands on some Dream Eater birds. Who are you? 
about what? You're Roxas. Huh. How can you be here? Am I dreaming? Um can someone in the comments answer this for me? Because I kind of get this and I kind of don't. Is this the real Roxas? Or is it a figment of Sora's dreams? Is this part of the plan to leave Sora vulnerable so the organization can have their filthy, filthy way with him? Yeah, you know, that's actually a good question. And I would like to get an answer to that too because I don't see any reason that Roxas would be affected by the dream Sora is going through. I don't really know. They don't really explain it uh, that well. But it's kind of an interesting question, though. I do like how, even if this is a dream, and again, you know, I'm just putting this out to the people in the comments explaining it to us. It's just nice that they get to talk again. That's true. That's why it has to be you. You've got to let them touch you, Sora. Wait, what? Now take it, Sora. Take it all. <laughs> all the memories of days. Take every single day. This is like that scene in The Crow, where the crow puts his hand on the bad guy's face and makes him relive all the bad things he suffered. Uh, so much ice cream! And of course, Roxas not having a, a true heart. It's just there, like, well, this guy's having the time of his life. Oh, he morphed me back to my shittier clothes. Oh, hey, red, black, and silver go together very well, okay? Okay, it's not a bad outfit. I'm not saying it's bad. I just prefer the KH2 clothes more. So yeah, if Roxas is real, I would imagine they put him here as kind of like, again, it's part of the trap. Hmm, that's what I'm thinking too. See, Riku kind of reinforces the fact that I'm right in this regard. Well, anything just to make you feel good, huh? Yeah, I'm not deliberately misinterpreting this. This part did generally leave me confused. You know, I just have to imagine what the ice cream stores are like in the Kingdom Hearts world. If everybody eats salt, sea salt ice cream all the time... You go to, like, an ice cream store. That's all they have on the shelves. Uh, do you have Rocky Road? No! Sea salt ice cream only! <laughs> well, you know why they sell sea salt ice cream so much in the Kingdom Hearts universe, right? Well, I get why. I know they sell it at Disney World, but come on. They have other flavors, guys. Would you like sea salt strawberry? No! You sickened me! <laughs> Walt Disney is currently rolling over in his cryogenic grave. He's doing like multiple 360s, it's pretty fly. <laughs> I hear they're basing the new Tony Hawk's game on that, actually. Man, I am going to hell. That's a funny joke in and of itself, a new Tony Hawk's game. <laughs> yeah, I don't really follow that series closely. I imagine it hasn't been going well otherwise. I stopped after um, Underground 2, quite frankly. Ooh, there is another good exclusive move for Sora coming up right now. I... I'd have to see it again, because I don't know if I found everything in this area or not. There you go, then. Oh, I did get this move, actually. It's pretty boss, but we're going to have to wait until these guys are dead before we can uh, sloss it into the command duck. Well, I'm pretty sure a big fuck you fireball helps. Fuck you fireball, yes. And knowing me, I would just name all my spells after various dirty things. Go fuck yourself. The move. Fuck you, gah. <laughs> fuck the <da> gah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do that that tremble in your voice when you uh, pronounce it. Fuck the gah. <laughs> well, you have the ability to go above a certain octave. If I don't, so. It's been a while since we've seen Ars Arcanum, actually. Yeah, Birth by Sleep, I think it was. I don't even think I got it there. Like, I know you had to, like, fuse a bunch of commands to uh, get up to that point. I don't even think you can win it anywhere. Probably in, like, you know, the Miracle Arena or whatever. The Mirage Arena, mate. Whatever the fuck it's called, I don't care. It begins with M. I'm 75% right, and that's <laughs> all that matters.
I'm at least halfway there. I'm pretty sure I can pass this test. Excuse me while I cut a fucking building in half. You know, those chains just really remind me of when you're interrogating somebody, in particular, uh, Phoenix Wright games. I can never do well in those, because I always panic and take it way too seriously. I'm like, don't fuck up, don't fuck up! I think that's the point of the Cyclops, mate. Okay, well, that, yeah, that's true, but still, I don't like investing that seriously in a game. It throws me off. Oh, hey, what's that building doing? Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was just doing a bit of interior decorating. Honestly, that did kind of freak me out the first time I have it. I'm like, ah, what are you doing? <laughs> and the balloon just saunters on by and explodes. <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Boom! Don't mind me. Although I do have to admit, at this point in the game... I was honestly kind of getting tired of running through these long areas fighting all these enemies. I just wanted the game to be over, because I knew the end was coming up. I just wanted it to be done. It feels endgame-ish, does it not? Yeah, it does, but at this point I was just kind of fed up. You know, again, I admit I uh, may be a bit nitpicky when it comes to this game, but honestly I just didn't like a lot of parts of it. And you'll get my full explanation later, but at this point I was like, alright, I'm done, let's just fucking end it. Well, one of the things about modern games, and I am going to get out of my soapbox here for a second, is that in the end game, they tend to just pile on wave after wave of enemies at you, as if it provides a decent challenge. No, it doesn't. It's just tedious, and Kid Icarus Uprising did the same exact thing towards the end of the game. I believe the recent Deadpool game did that too, because that looked so fun. That was fucking atrocious. Oh my god. That went on for, like, I think 20 minutes? Yeah, I can't even comment about the gameplay because I haven't played it. You've played that. But at least I could say the writing was terrible. But imagine just having to sit through all of those waves. I imagine it was boring as hell. Oh, and uh, speaking of Deadpool, you know, Disney owned Marvel now. No. Just no. No joke, just no. <laughs> so I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Riku's like, I don't even know you anymore. Chimichanga summon. Uh, uh. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off is right. We'll see you all next time where the mindfuckery reaches its absolute zenith. See you then. See you then.